was about to start the vlog and I was checking out my eyes in the camera and <laughs> the doorbell rang. I think those are my washi tapes. So the washi tapes have arrived. Anyway, it is Monday. It is the first day of the new schedule where I'm posting Monday through Friday every day on this channel. I talked about it in the last video, which was a speed paint video. So if you want all the blabber about that, that's where that is. But man, I have a lot to show you because I haven't filmed in probably like five days. <laughs> first of all, yeah, I got my extensions in. I also wore them on Friday. But other than that, I haven't worn them in a long time because it's just, it's just been too hot with the summer and now it's finally cooling down and I'm loving it. I can wear my sweaters. I can wear my extensions. I'm so happy. <laughs> So this was the first day back to the morning editing that I used to always do as part of my routine and I forgot about my rendering issue with DaVinci Resolve where ever since the update it just takes forever to render and I tried a million more fixes today. I spent over an hour fiddling with it. I even tried rolling back to previous version, tried updating all kinds of things, tried, like I, I tried a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to bore you with the details but ultimately what I had to do was go back to Premiere Pro. So I'm on a seven day free trial of Premiere Pro, probably gonna extend it, but I have other issues with Premiere Pro, so I don't, I love Premiere Pro, so it feels great to be back using it, but still have issues. Okay, there's more updates. First of all, yesterday I filmed that sketchbook video and I painted a whole bunch my goal is to finish these paintings by the end of the week. So for tomorrow's art stream, I can work on Crinkle some more. I don't want to touch Kitty because I just worked on her yesterday, so it's still going to be wet. I don't know if I'll have enough to do to fill the full four hours. I might have to switch to something else or I don't know. <laughs> but hopefully tomorrow this one's done. And then later this week, finish off this one. I've got the neck thingy in there now. I colored in the eye some more, added the whiskers, added a layer to the crown, beads, this light area too, deepened some shadows here and there. It's being backlit right now, so it looks a little weird, but yeah, we're getting there. Then also, what day was it? I think it was Thursday. A huge delivery came. All the boxes that the advent calendar boxes are gonna go into, like the shipping boxes, arrived and they're so much bigger than my usual boxes so the truck that offloaded them it was five pallets of stuff and so as the guy's unloading the truck i'm desperately trying to rip the plastic off these pallets and throw everything off the pallet so that he can take the wooden pallets back with him because i have nowhere to put those so <laughs> it was like this mad dash christian was in a meeting so i'm just like hucking stuff and they're heavy in fact the boxes weigh 1050 pounds total so <laughs> then by the time I was done with that, Christian was off his meeting. So he came and helped me haul everything into the house. So he'd bring it to the back door and then I would carry it from the back door into the warehouse. And let me show you, let me show you all the boxes. <laughs> uh, I still heard you call this a meeting right now. There, okay, okay, here's some of them. <laughs> <laughs> here's the rest. So this is all the new ones and this entire side of the room <laughs> like all the way back to there and here's a comparison by the way of the old boxes versus the new ones mega size difference this is also a different style of box it's not the easy fold kind it's the kind you have to tape shut on the bottom well the top two obviously but the old ones i taped on the top as well so that's a lot of boxes. They can't be folded too far in advance because there's not going to be room for them. <laughs> and they'd probably have to be stored like this, like fully closed. These ones I normally store open like this. Storing these ones open might be a bit much. And again, we just don't have room. This entire room is cardboard. The sound is so much better in here. There's way less echo. I can hear my voice change as I go from out there to in here. <laughs> I reorganized a bunch of this stuff unpacked a bunch of my chipboard put that in there i have some more glassing sleeves but i ordered the wrong size i might use them for the washi tapes though so i had to place a new order with the slightly bigger size that hasn't arrived yet i brought this second shelf in here so this shelf was out there and it was full of nintendo gaming consoles it was like a little shrine <laughs> i had to take them all out so i could move this in here and use it so this is mostly for the merch on this side and then this is for the packing supplies and I cleared everything off of these warehouse shelves. I can't really show it other than these kitty ones that you've already seen, but it is packed full with product right now. Absolutely stuffed. 
and when I hung up the the diamond painting right there because there's already some screws in the wall from a previous previous art I had hanging up there in the past so it's a little close to the shelf but I'm just trying to use what's already in the wall okay let's get out of here before I spoil stuff I think I might have accidentally filmed my stickers and I'm gonna have to censor those out <laughs> I also ordered more crinkle paper because I'm going to need it maybe to stuff the sides of the box just because the shipping box is slightly bigger than the advent calendars. It might actually be a pretty good fit though in the end. We'll see. <laughs> what other updates are there? My eyes are still bugging me. They're not that red during the day, but the evenings and mornings are awful. Like right now it is 1230, so they're, they're looking okay right now, but they don't feel good and they it gets worse like I said <laughs> and I'm surprised it hasn't cleared up yet. Well assuming if it's Bacterial pink eye because I've been using antibacterial drops. My eyes got better initially, but then it's kind of just stayed at that level So I thought it was going away, but it's not my throat's also been sore and I've started coughing so now I'm a little concerned like it's everything so mild, but <sighs> The plan was to have some friends over this weekend because my birthday's on Saturday. I'm turning 30 and then it was also supposed to be a birthday for Christian. His birthday was in April, but we never got to celebrate because that was back when we weren't seeing our friends at all, like when everything was fully locked down. And so we're like, oh, we'll celebrate together just with the people who are in our social bubble. Like we see them every couple weeks. And so we're like, yeah, we'll do that. But now I'm like, if there's any chance I have COVID, I don't want people to come over. So I'm getting a test today. In fact, my test is at 115, so very soon. <laughs> Probably don't have it, but I, you know, better safe than sorry. If I'm gonna have people over, I wanna be responsible about it, so I'm going for a test. I did the BC self-assessment questionnaire and it said I should go in for a test and they had lots of appointments available, so I'm going. That was a lot of rambling. Let me now show you the cat shame calendar. Man, I can hear the raspiness in my voice. Okay, we have a lot of days to catch up on. So for Thursday, I can't meow, but I can intimidate the heck out of grandma's dog. Oh. I ate Kara's oil paint. <gasps> I see some of it. Better now. Better not have had any toxic ones. We'll sleep for food. And for today, I think that the TV is a big toy that I can jump on and attack. Oh yeah, this spot, this white spot right here, reminds me. Kitty doesn't have a forehead white spot. It looks so obvious in the reference photo that I had, but then looking at other pictures on Snapchat from my brother, I was like, wait, does she? So I asked him, I was just like, does she have a white spot there or is that just the classic cat bald spot? Because Kiki has that too. Well, Midna does, but it's not as noticeable. It's mostly noticeable in dark fur. But anyway, I asked my brother. He's like, no, she doesn't have a white spot there, just a bald spot. And I was like, <gasps> so I had to cover that up. But I'm also relieved because it looked stupid on my painting. So I was glad to cover it up. <laughs> what do you think? Is this too much? Too much pink? <laughs> Even my socks have pink on them. Here's the washi tape. I'm gonna have to open that when I get back though. Actually, maybe I have time. It does say in my email not to arrive early for testing, so. <gasps> Need to open one up and see what it looks like on white paper. I mean, I've seen a photo from the manufacturer, but. <laughs> I'll just hold it up against the white wall. <gasps> cute! Just take my word for it that it's cute. I destroyed the blade on my box cutter when I was ripping apart those pallets with the boxes on it because I kept nicking the ground. So, sorry, I'm distracted now. I'm like, mm. <gasps> Oh, they sent me one of mine shrink wrapped. Is that just for shrink wrap sampling? I don't, I don't want mine shrink wrapped, but they sent me a bunch of other little ones. Let me get a better look at this thing. What was I even saying? Oh yeah, my box cutter. I need to find my spare blades. The overall look of that one is maybe a little different than what you'd expect from me, but I hope people like it. <laughs> got a thick tape, a skinny tape. This has lettering, it's clear with lettering. But yeah, it looks just like random glitter from afar, but it's a bunch of, it's words. Once you put it on paper, you'd see it. And then this one's like little stamps. 
There's a close up of that other one. Then there's floral with some gold on it. I like that. I might need to do some with gold. This one looks like gold polka dots and it's a skinny tape. And then, aloha. Aloha Gregory's. <laughs> Speaking of samples, I got my acrylic charms in and they sent me a little sample. I've seen this already on their social media. This is by Vograce. It's like a little candy bag or chip bag. and it, So it's soft, but it's filled with air and there are little acrylic charms inside of it. That's so cute. Adorable. Okay, I'm gonna pack up my purse and whatnot and head out. Okay, I'm now back. I have a few clips from my little outing. It said in the email, you can't film your appointment, so I didn't do that, but I have a few dash cam clips of me rolling up and waiting in line and stuff and pulling into the little testing bay. It's 2.30, so it's been an hour and a half since I left the house. So yeah, it was actually a long wait once I got there. They have this first booth where they give you a little paper to fill out, and then the next booth they give you an info paper and tell you which line, because the line splits into four lanes. So they'll tell you what lane to go in, and then you kind of just chill until you get, and can pull up into the little garage thing. And you stay in your car, I swab the nose. Whew. My nose still feels funny. <laughs> the swabs are really teeny, which is nice, but like they go so far in. They're like, it feels like getting chlorine up your nose or wasabi. And I'd say the wasabi one's actually pretty accurate. Like, you know when you get that really bad wasabi burn that just goes straight through your nostrils? It's kind of like that. And so they swab it for like five seconds and you're just like, at least I was, I'm like. <laughs> so now I need to get some food because I haven't eaten anything yet. And it's 2.30. Right when I got home, Christian had just finished making a sandwich with toasted bread. So I'm gonna do the same thing. In fact, we have some cheese bread. <laughs> so I'll use that for the sandwich. Feels kind of wrong to put condiments on cheese bread, but I guess it's the same as having cheese on a sandwich, so... Hmm. And speaking of cheese on a sandwich, I don't often do it, but I'm going to today. This is a Kraft Single mozzarella slice. <laughs> Montreal smoked meat. And some roast beef. A little bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I might have toasted the bread a little too much for a sandwich, but let's find out. Oh, my God. The berry juices are getting all over my bread. Hmm. Oh. I think this side maybe is too toasted, but this end is perfect. That's delicious. So more deliveries just came. My glassine sleeves are here, the bigger size, since I ordered the wrong size the first time. And then my Vistaprint order, which is the backing cards. So I can show you some of that. And there's a thank you card too, which I can show you. I use the cat treat dish as my little tripod in the kitchen, <laughs> like a little camera stand. Don't alert the bebis. Actually, let's go into a quieter room because it's so noisy. You heard nothing. Gotta find those blades. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to go look for them. <laughs> Thank you card. Oh, I thought this said happy birthday. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> it's a bunch of small boxes. Okay, that one you can't see. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted. <laughs> no, no, I think I know which two I want to show. That's the same one. Right on these out of frame, no looking. <gasps> trying to dig out the thank you cards. <laughs> They're big ones this time. 
A business card would feel so tiny in those big boxes I showed you. <laughs> okay. So there's the thank you side, which matches the design of the advent calendar box. And then the reverse side doesn't really match, but it's meant to be like a freebie little print. So when you get them printed glossy, only one side is glossy. So I made sure that the side with the art had the gloss on it, just so it felt a little fancier. So, so here are the three cards you can look at. We have this orange gingham card. It has no text on it. It is just orange gingham, and it has a linen texture. Let's see if we can get that on camera. The camera might pick it up better on the white side. But that's nothing. Look at this. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. It's almost cloth-like, right? So that's this one. This is for the this is for the wooden pins. So like this one. The other wooden pin design, which you haven't seen, is also gonna go on this backing card. The only thing is these are a bit small, so it's gonna be awkward. Like the pin is a little bit bigger than the card. So it'll be a little goofy, but that's why I didn't put any text on it because you wouldn't really see it anyway. And then we have some pink gingham and it says Penelope. You don't know what that means, but you will when those pins arrive. This is on the soft touch finish, which is what I normally use for my square backings. Kind of a satiny finish. And then there is Baroque Brew. This one has a glossy finish. I just picked the finishes based on what item was going on them. So different finishes for different items. So these are the three spoiler items. It seemed like most people were against the spoiling of a fourth item. So I won't show those, but what if I just do a super close up sneak peek? These are the keychains on the acrylic charms. So yeah, there you have it. Enough of that. I'm gonna haul these all downstairs and put them on my bookshelves in the warehouse. Okay, it's a little warmer today than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's just been so cold lately. Anyway, sweaters off. Extensions might have to go off. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yes, they're coming off. <laughs> just like that. So I have my wooden pins here. I have this pin clutch remover, which is from Galloway Labs on Etsy. And then the piece of cardboard that I used to poke the pins through. It keeps the backing card from bending while letting the pin posts go through. Then there's the backing pieces. And then I have the glassine sleeves that these are going in. I tried fitting the washi tape in the smaller glassine sleeves I got, but they don't fit. The width is okay when the sleeve is flat, but as soon as you try to put something in it, since it's not gusseted, it doesn't actually fit. I would need this size if I wanna put the washi tape in sleeves, but they really don't need that. Hi, staple. They'll probably just go in as is. That's how I usually put them in boxes anyway, was, is with no packaging. They'll be tucked into their little advent cubby. And then the plastic sleeves that these come in, I had a great suggestion to use these sleeves for the sticker sets and I tried it out and it looks so cute. So that's what I'm gonna do is put all the sticker sets in the little plastic sleeves. Technically I'd have enough of these to put about half the washi tapes also in sleeves. Like if I put them in these plastic sleeves. Or I could just save them again for future sticker sets or something. Who knows? <laughs> just trying to get more use out of them, even though they're a little wrinkled. It's better to reuse them. I just cleaned a bunch of paint brushes, so if you see any gunk under my nails, I apologize. <laughs> I'm kind of scared for these ones. Like, I'm scared to use this remover. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I would hope it wouldn't pop the posts off. It better not! <laughs> So then the clutches land in there, and then I usually do a bunch at a time, and then pin a bunch, and then sleeve a bunch. Do them in little batches. Hi, Kiki. Is this how I got pink eye? Get that booty out of my face. Should probably fold these over so the sticky tab doesn't stick to everything. <laughs> we don't need the glass seam yet. And all of these can go in there. I 
just need an assembly line. Have someone next to me, I pass them this, they slip the stickers right in there and close it up. <laughs> This is so weird because the, the pins are so spaced out compared to enamel pins. I gotta make sure I'm aligning this correctly. Like by the time I'm pulling off the first clutch, the second one hasn't even touched this area yet. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> but this just saves your hands. Normally I'm really fast if it's, oops. <laughs> making them all fall out. If they're enamel fin pins, I'm just like, boop, boop. I'm gonna be a little careful at first with these. I'm just paranoid. But they shouldn't come off. Like, <laughs> I'd be extremely concerned if the posts were coming off while doing this. <laughs> Love the sound of the wood when I set it down. Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, this saves time, saves your fingies. It's a great tool all around. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. And then I can dump them out. I guess orientation doesn't matter. Oh, this is gonna look so silly because the card's so small, but it, like it has to fit in the cubicles of the advent calendar box, right? I can't go any bigger than the pin. This, I think the pin is a touch wider than this, but you know, we're getting to our limit here. Usually I drape a eyeglass cleaner on the other side, like a little wipe cloth. I can't speak, but I don't know where it went. Also, I ripped off the other half of this. <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> I just don't like setting it right on the cardboard face down. Just kind of scratchy. That actually doesn't look too bad on the card like that. <laughs> it's, it's still a bit big for the card, but that looks cute. And we have a cute little baby back here keeping me company. Yes. <laughs> okay, I need more space here. Hehehehe. <laughs> Look at these. <gasps> bubbles, bubbles. Technically, these could go right back in to <laughs> their plastic sleeves. Well, maybe. Yeah, these ones would fit. It's a bit big, but that is tempting. Because I only need a thousand plastic sleeves for all the sticker sets, but I'm gonna have two thousand because I have two wooden pin designs. So, hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, these might actually be a little wide. Well, maybe if I turn them sideways. I know the cards fit, it's just a matter of this wooden pin because it's so wide. This obviously looks more professional, but I just normally choose paper because more eco friendly, obviously. See, in the future, the plan is to just not have them come in plastic at all. I'm gonna ask about paper sleeves next time, but for these ones, might as well use them. And yes, I know about eco-friendly plastic sleeves, like they're biodegradable, but I'm just on the fence about those because they need to be in like perfect conditions to biodegrade. And it's like, how well, how long is it 
actually going to take probably much longer than the advertised time like a lot of them say like oh 30 days or 60 days but that's assuming ideal conditions and surrounded by like the right soil with the right kind of bacteria in it or who knows I don't know <laughs> it needs like the ideal conditions so I'm kind of a fence sitter about biodegradable plastics it is tempting though because look how cute stuff looks in plastic <laughs> plus no one really knows what plastics they receive are biodegradable, what ones aren't. Like, how are you going to know if you're supposed to compost it or not? <laughs> or if people throw it out with their plastic recycling, then it's just surrounded by a bunch of other plastic. Like, it's not going to biodegrade then. I mean, I could put a little message on the thank you cards, I guess, saying that. But I bet you, like, 95% of people would just put it in the garbage or in their plastic recycling. So then, like, what good does that do? <laughs> That's why I've gone the paper route. I would actually love to get some glassine sleeves custom printed. I don't even know if that's possible. I suppose it doesn't have to be glassine per se because this is buffed paper. I could just get paper sleeves that are like regular paper. So yeah, I'm going to continue working on this and I'll update you later with my progress. I'm actually going to move this whole operation downstairs because it's warm <laughs> and I just want to hang out with Christian. Kiki, you're going to have to get up and bring in the towel too. Oh my god, look how cute they look in the basket. <laughs> Just getting set up down here. I set this down and Kiki immediately tried climbing into it. So we're going to have to cover this. <laughs> Not for babies. Uh, ma'am? Christian has the table raised to play games, so I need a booster seat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably have to go make supper soon. Put too much weight on the table. Oh. This is kind of nice until my knee hurts, but I'm actually kind of digging this. All right. I'm mean, gonna have to get up and cook soon anyway. I don't know what I'm making. <laughs> cook. <laughs> so I microwaved a potato, two potatoes in fact, and that's gonna be our supper. Fried up some onions and I threw in some of the bacon at the last minute. This is that pre-cooked Costco bacon. So handy for everything. It's handy for my sandwich earlier, now it's handy for my potato. No sour cream, no problem. We have this. <laughs> Some cheese. No green onion, but we have the yellow onion fried with the bacon. Just to make sure the cheese is really melted. Just two tomatoes for Christian because he's not a huge fan. And here you have it, potato salad. I mean, the original idea was for it to be a baked potato, and it still pretty much is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, excuse me. I forgot the butter that was supposed to go on first. It's now later in the evening. I'm showered. Christian's watching Cobra Kai. <laughs> I got through a hundred, well-ish. Honestly, not that much. <laughs> need to pick up the pace. Although I did start later in the day too. I'm gonna get cracking on the next bag of them and just do as many as I can before bed. But I'm ending the vlog here, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. So, about the schedule, yeah, I wanna go to five days a week because I actually used to do this. I used to do seven days a week daily vlogs on my Bumble Bailey channel. And that was a lot to commit to, and over time I just couldn't keep up with it. But I was daily for, well, I don't know how many years. 